What's up guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Uh, this is only my third episode now, but I'm having a blast filming this stuff, getting the fish catches on camera and sharing it with you guys. So I hope you're enjoying it. It's been awesome so far. This is part two of a two part series. Uh, part one is linked in the description below. We catch 25 pounds of smallmouth in part one. It was insane. But part two, we go into a little more description, continue to catch big ones. We were on a body of water we'd never been to, so we moved to a new area and uh, found another spot that was just dynamite. So hope you guys enjoy part two. Uh, without further ado, here it is. Dude, I gotta idle around for a minute. I, I don't like not having an idea of you know like where I want to go what direction on the trolling motor We should be getting bit right there. There's so many on this graph back here. It's unbelievable. It's like a, like a school of lead uh, bass. Look at all these smallmouth. Those are all smallmouth. That is loaded. We should be able to go like... This for Got one. Oh my gosh, dude. Freak me. <laughs> that is a toad. Except there's one with it. Oh my gosh. Oh, dude. He said, So you knew that there is a rock there. Bro, well, come on now. Hello. Come here. Come here. Just like the St. Lawrence last year. Come here. Big old four and a half pounder. Bam, baby. That's a monster. Look where that hook is. Dude. Dude. Devin. That's so uh. awesome. See you, girl. Kidding me right now? Yeah, dude. Out of worms. You didn't catch that one? No. I did not. Guys, you can see right here, there's one I'm gonna let Devin drop on. But that's what they're on, is that little ridge. Like, that's not even barely a two foot drop. And they're loaded on it. He went down on it, dude. He's on it. Got him. Be a big one. Not bad. On a five one, dude. But oh, you can't get a better example of what they're on right there. Look at that guy. Yeah. Look how pretty. Mm-hmm. That was awesome. Let me see that fish. Nice. How many have you caught now? Uh, there's no, I lost count. <laughs> Peace out. He uh, said, uh, best round of the day. He had second best round of the day. Uh, dude, that's, that's a damn accomplishment in itself. I know. You know what I mean? Like, I know. Just be consistent with it. Mm. Dude, he didn't get a shoot 700. God, that might be a beast, dude. Look at the big old block. Oh my God, Devin. Real, drop it, drop it, drop it, drop it, drop it. Just drop it all the way down. I think he went down after yours, dude. Click over. Oh, you got him, dude. <laughs> that was the bigger one, too. Bro, wait till you see that one. Look at this. Oh, dude. Dude. Oh. <laughs> that was awesome that was freaking cool dude that's two two trips in a row we've had 
double. Oh my gosh, dude. Come here. I got gotcha. you. I got gotcha. you. I'm letting mine. Dude. I'm letting mine go so I can help you out. No, let me get it. Oh, you want to? Yeah. You want a double? Yeah, dude. Double pick. Ah, dude. Look at that. Four and three quarter. <laughs> that one's important. Check that out. That was sweet. I'm letting mine go. Yours is a hammer. Let me show you guys real quick how to tie a drop shot. The easiest way. Put your weight like that uh, on the hook. Run your line through it. Wrap down six times. And then... Go back through the loop that you made right there. Super easy. Then you want to wet it, of course. Put your line back through the eye of the hook just one time just to get it real straight, nice and clean. Perfect. Still haven't made it to the third waypoint. No, just in between these two. And it's about 66 yards between the two. Between the two we've been fishing. Between the three, sorry. So we the one we've been fishing is only, dude, they're not, they're only 50 to 60 feet apart. It's just crazy what they're setting on, man. There's one. I just missed one, dude. Dude, right there. There's, oh my God, loaded. You're loaded. gonna get bit. This spot is freaking loaded, dude. Man, that's not actually that bad of a fish. It's hot, dude. Gotcha. Get him back in so we can get another one. He got him. <laughs> Jumping on the other side of the boat. Thought you lost him right there. Still a meat pot, man. This spot is unbelievable how loaded it is. Loaded. It's it's almost every drop. Get him, dude. Mean. He's mean. Oh, he came off? Nice. Yeah, it's so loaded, they're just all on that whole little flat. Mm hmm. I mean, that's not even where they started. You know what I mean? Like, that break is right here. But I guarantee you, there, there's so many there, dude. They're following the boat out. And when we catch one, they get all fired up and keep following and stuff. Guarantee you, that's what's happening. We still haven't even got to that waypoint yet. Oh, dude. That guy came all the way up there. I got him. I got him. He came way up. He's going to get it, too. When they go down that fast, he's already got it. Dude. Dude. Oh! Gosh! Did it come up? Yeah. Dude. That was it coming back down, huh? Oh my gosh. Bro. That, I mean, that's, I'm pretty sure it's a good one. That is loaded right there. Got him. That wasn't the one that I lost. Dude. We have caught so many fish. Hit spot lock. That is just freaking ridiculous right there. Come here. Come here, dude. Got you that time. Good one for what I mean what you said you lost. No, that one I lost with it was a real nice one. Still not a bad one. There's a fish right there. Isn't it? 
Dude, I was just looking at that storm on my phone, and I do believe it's coming our way. It's not looking so good. Yeah. It's fixing to get rough out here. All right, we'll call it. We'll call it a day. It was fun. The old flatworm did the trick, like always. All right, guys, for real, the storm's getting, it's coming our way. It's getting pretty bad, so we are going to call it quits. Devin, epic first day ever. Smallmouth fishing up north. Insane, dude. You never caught a fish north of Kentucky Lake until today. Nope. And you caught a bunch today. So we had a good time. Hopefully you guys learn a few little tips about drop shotting, kind of what to look for. Can't give all the secrets away, of course, and I'm definitely definitely not telling you where we're fishing because we're, we're coming back if you figure it out hey good for you i'm not telling you so don't be dming me asking either we'll see you guys next time it's gonna be a fun one too it's always fun we've got a great kayaking uh, video great smallmouth video we got all kinds of stuff in the works so we got a bunch of stuff coming you guys are gonna enjoy it but uh sure hope you enjoyed this one we're getting the freak out of here later